Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates. Well, that was kind of a botched up jump. Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates X-Men versus the Brotherhood. So this is the final, final Marvel Minimates box set for 2017. We're in 2018 now, so we're moving on. Black Panther just came out, um, but this is the final box set of Marvel for 2017, because I think the Black Panther Minimates hit in 2017. So this brings us incredible, incredible news. We have Toad. Uh, one of the, f okay, Toad, like, was one of the first designed Minimates back in like 2003, and is just now getting a Minimate. That is like freaking like 14 years without Toad. And my box set is trying to fall over, so I've got to hold it. But we're finally getting Toad. We've also got the Mastermind, um, which is like an obscure X-Men villain, but we're also getting a new him. Not a new him, just him. Um, but he's actually disguised as Professor X. So you get a new classic Professor X in the wheelchair. Um, you've also got Marvel Girl, Jean Grey, pretty simple, and Quicksilver. So this is really like... One out of three X-Men, unless you want to count Professor X as just being Professor X. Whew. So, uh, packaging-wise, you've got sort of a dark, dark red, um, very maroon X-Men versus the Brotherhood. Mastermind as Professor X. I think it is cool that they've labeled it actually Mastermind as Professor X, um, since it means this figure is technically Mastermind and not Charles Xavier. Classic Marvel Girl. Classic Quicksilver and Toad. Freaking Toad. If, if the back of the box does not say first ever Toad Minimate, I'm going to be upset. There's the other four figures and Toad. <laughs> Mix and match parts. There's a little write-up. Um, and wow, Professor X has a lot of different looks. So I'm excited. Mostly for Xavier. Let's begin. Here we also have the figure tray. Um, I know people like seeing those, so I'll start including those in my videos, but pretty simple. Alright, here we go with the box set. So, first off, we're going to look at Professor X. Is it actually Professor X? Ooh. Um, so, yeah, it's Mastermind as Professor X. Um, out of the box, it's just Charles Xavier. He's in his wheelchair. Um, for detail looks, we'll put it to the side. It's just plain old Xavier, uh, khaki suit. Appreciate the red tie. Very simple. Sort of an angry look. He's going like, to me, my X-Men. And what they've done is they've taken the Spidey Sense Spider-Man headpiece and repurposed it. You can just pop it off, but he now has a hole in his head. So that is, that is a nice touch. Um, I'm not going to use it, so we'll just cast it to the side. And it's just a bald dude. And more importantly, he's also got his wheelchair. Um, this is a reuse of the one from Days of Future Past. Came with the uh, James McAvoy Xavier, but here we actually have it with Xavier. So he's got like the X wheels, it's nice. Would have been nice if the wheels actually rolled, but it's just a solid piece. It is very hefty, though. It's it's not like heavy, but it's like solid. Nice, and he does have quite a few accessories from the last comic Xavier. He comes with the Cerebro helmet, and all you got to do is pop it on, and he can be like, "Whoa." I feel all the mutants in the world. Or if you don't want Professor X and you're insane, or if you have an extra suit body, like me, I'll probably just go get a black suit, you can remove all of the Xavier bits, 
you can transform him into obscure Marvel Comics villain. The Mastermind. Sort of looks like Tony Stark. So all you gotta do is pop off the body parts, and he's got a new torso and a cloak piece. And because of that, now he is a completely new figure. <laughs> I, I can't even tell it's Xavier. So that it, that it's a nice touch. Um, I will definitely pose him like this and get an extra body for Xavier. And then for Mastermind, he does have a display stand, which is good because <laughs> Xavier can't really use the display stand. Then after Charles, we're moving on to good old classic Jean Grey. This is not her first appearance because obviously her first design was with like the old, old 60s X-Men. Here she's in the uh, green and yellow outfit. I've seen Deadpool wear this costume before in the past. So I know it was a long shot, but I kind of wish Diamond included like an extra torso and a head of Deadpool. Wasn't going to happen, but I kind of wish it did. But this is done fairly nice. Um, not really much to say. I dig her belt. They've like printed it on a skirt piece. Then very green. The, the way they painted it really reminds me of like old retro comics. Then she's got some legs, boots. Then I will say probably the biggest fault with her is her face. Not the face itself. But the way her mask is designed, it sits slightly too low, so it's almost barely just covering her eyes. So you actually have to move it up just, just a little bit. There we go. Um, but then I'm a little obsessive compulsive, so I go whoop, and then it's ruined. <laughs> but you can pop it off if you want, and there's just a girl. There's just a girl. And then she does have a standard hairpiece if you want to pose her like that. A little tight to get on, but it does look nice. I will probably use the mask though. And the best part is she has a reuse of the flame on human torch fire base, but done up in psychic blast color. So you just gotta pop her on, and then she's like, boom, I'm Jean Grey. I'm gonna die like five times. Looks good. After that, probably. I, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan. We've got Quicksilver. It's just Quicksilver done up in the green costume. So Quicksilver has only really ever had two costumes, a green version and a blue version. And I don't have the other Quicksilver on me. Um, don't know where he is actually, but he's the exact, basically the same design, but blue. This one, he's got a grumpy face. Because he's like, grr, I'm evil right now. But I like the streak. Very plain. Probably my least favorite figure. But it's clean. In the package, mine actually came with the legs on backwards. But his feet were facing forward. So it's, it's pretty simple. He does have an accessory. Which is a reuse of... From Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is, by the way, still the best line Diamond has done, uh, the uh, the guy from Bionic Commando, Nathan Rad Spencer, came with a dashing effect, so we get that here. And all it is, essentially, it's kind of a replacement for the standard display stand, and you would just peg one foot here and have him run. So I would probably pose him like this. It's, it's a little tough, um, especially doing it with one hand, but with some finagling, you can get some pretty cool dashing poses. But it, it's supposed to look like this. But that doesn't matter, because we're going to talk about Toad real quick. Oh my god, I can't believe they actually finally made Toad. For years, the Minimate Multiverse was complaining that, why is there no Toad? And Diamond Select Toys was finally like, here. So, he he looks great. There's not much going on with him. No accessories. The figure is what you get, but I think they did a great job. He's got orange and almost vaguely purplish blue. I, that That's trademark purplish blue. A new collar piece, which looks great. 
almost reminds me of the Hunchback of Notre Dame or Notre Dame if you're normal. Uh, belt piece, pretty good, but very simple. Hair piece is nothing new either. I think it's from like a Walking Dead zombie. And he's got, his mouth is huge, my dude. But yeah, look, looks like Toad to me. So definitely, I, I will say this is a very strong box set in terms of character choices because we've got a new costume for a popular female character, which is which is good. Um, I know people have probably been like, I want Marvel Girl. Um, but most importantly, I, just, I, I gotta give it to them. They made Toad. Like, I, I can't believe they actually were just like, okay, we'll make Toad. But it's good. It's it's a lovely, lovely set. I, I think the best figure, I will say, is either Professor X slash the Mastermind, because I really like the wheelchair. Or freaking Toad, my dude. I, I just gotta give it to him. They made Toad. This was seriously a stellar way to end 2017 with Marvel. Freaking Toad, my dude. Ugh, so good. Quicksilver is probably my least favorite figure. It, it's just kind of plain. He's there. But that's uh, that's what I think. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this was kind of a different styled video. I was a little more casual. I, I don't do my... So anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Good set. I think a lot of X-Men fans are going to be like, Oh my god! So, highly recommend it. I will put a link in the description to Luke's Toy Store to pick up the set. Anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Check me on all social media. And did you like the video? Well, then rate, comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you later. To me, my X-Men!